talk smack about some Disney jabronis right, right quick. <laughs> Turn that song bitch sideways. <laughs> hey, yeah, so Disney, man. God, I don't want to spend long on this, but so I was on Disney Plus and then I was on Hulu, got off of both of those. And then I was like, you know what? I could just get back on Disney Plus. And then they gave me the option for Disney Plus and Hulu bundle. And I was like, okay, here we go. So no. I signed up for the bundle and they screwed up my Hulu account. So now my original Hulu account is gone. My watch history is gone. I had all the watch later set up and I forgot where I was. And, and like, I'm watching shows again. I'm like, wait a minute, I've seen this. See, if I would have had Hulu, it would have told me, but it messed up my account and I can't get it back. And then all the Hulu shows are under Disney Plus. Now I can't go to Hulu.com. It says my account is broken or something. And I go, I have to go to Disney. Dot com, Disney plus dot com and search for Hulu content. And the searching is horrible. It's just bad. Like I, yeah. I search and it's so annoying. I, I think whoever developed that front end must be really good at PowerPoint macros because the way they're able to put together a complete front end using PowerPoint was you know, it's just it's incredible it's incredible what disney has done with powerpoint because well it was it was funny you can see my screen here but okay you know, it was so a little bit so there is like this what's watching and so previously i was under here with my kids with the little princess tiana and so i try to watch echo and they even show up on my screen so i had to actually create a whole new profile and lock it so that disney's all about protecting the kids yeah they have a password protected I right, can right. watch that mature stuff. And I get what Disney's doing. They want to put it all in umbrella. We've talked about this, right? In certain areas under Disney Plus and other parts of the country, we had Hulu shows like Tom and Pammy popping up on Disney Plus. And so this is just an extension of that. But yeah, it's fascinating to me is how Disney is trying to roll out this integration. Clumsy a little bit here in the US, but it definitely was necessary. But yeah, it's weird now. I, be honest, I have no clue if I have Hulu and Disney Plus or Who's behind? So I can to figure that out. Am I paying two subscription services or what? I yeah. No I, clue I, I actually, yeah. And I, as I said, I can't log into my Hulu account because it says uh, something's wrong. And then I go into Disney and they're like, oh, yeah, we've got a, you got a Hulu account. We got you right here. But I don't know what they did with my old account because I, they used the same email address, not the same logins. But things got weird, man. Things got weird. And I just didn't like it. And I, I went to threads with this and a whole bunch of people were just like, oh, man. Disney Plus sucks, and you, you, you get messed up if you try to use your Spectrum package with that. Yeah, that's I saw that. Yeah, they pop, popped me up to say, oh, yeah, we got Disney Plus. And this is another thing the streamers are doing, right? This whole bundling thing, right? Putting Disney Plus as part of cable packages now and all this other crap. So streaming's being added to cable, and people <laughs> are like not liking that at all. Yeah, I saw that. So that's thanks for posting this about someone pissed off about. Disney Plus comes with the spectrum and messing up your D Plus experience. I love it. Yeah, man. People can't log in and having issues with even trying to adjust their account because it sends them to Spectrum. And when you go to Spectrum, they're like, hey, go log into Disney Plus. And it's like, I just came from there. Yeah. I will say this. I'm familiar with this kind of shenanigans because I was part of Yeah, I was serious. I was familiar part of the problem. With this because do you remember it was AT and T? Remember AT and T at one yep. time had owned HBO, and so I think I got an HBO it was like Direct TV Plus or something. I still have it. To be honest with you, that's how I watch all my live stuff. And uh, you subscribe to Direct TV, and then you get HBO part of that process. So now, now HBO is it's called Max now, and you're under and AT and T doesn't even own Time Warner anymore. So it's weird. I said, I Disney, I just had direct plus. So every time I log into max, so sometimes it'll pop out. Like I still log into my direct TV, which is still under AT&T lock. <laughs> so it's just, no. And I forgot this, it's called max now. So it's like not even HBO anymore. So it's just, yeah, man, it, I think guys, we're going to be going through this for the next couple of years or all these, that's what happens. Consolidation is happening. All these old passwords and lingering stuff. That's all going to be combined and we're going to yeah. be missing stuff and. So it's going to be weird. Yeah. Let me tell you, um, I, so I can't, gosh, it's so weird, man. I was just about to explain just another bad story, but in short, I'm sitting down 
using my VPN, which is tied to the same city that I'm in, by, by the way. We have a, my VPN has a server in the same area, so shouldn't be too much of a problem. But my VPN I, I stuttered for a second. I was just like, hold on. Okay, we've reconnected. Man, I went back to my Disney Plus window and it was like, excuse me, sir. There's a problem with this account. I'm like, oh gosh, please no. And so for the week, I couldn't log in with my computer. I could only log in through my devices that I had already logged in on. And then at some point, it was just like, all right, we thought you were doing some funny business. And I'm like, look, man, y'all need to go somewhere. Y'all all busted. I do this on Netflix. I do this on Netflix and they're good. They're like, yeah, cool, man. We understand who you are. We got you. Yeah. So, yeah. Tech company versus legacy media. They yeah, understand yeah. basics. Yeah, real quick though, while we're there, let's run down their little, their movie slate real quick. Cause people were talking, Grace was talking about the, this whole slate of things coming out in 2024 for Disney. Grace from Beyond the Trailer. They have no Star Wars movies, no Avatar, no theme park movie, only one Marvel movie, one live action adaptation, one Pixar movie, and one Disney animation movie. And that's only like what, seven? They used to have a, you used to get at least a movie a month, a major one, but now this is like seven and not even seven. I'm sorry. It, it's just not a lot. And yeah, go ahead. I would agree, Mr. Benjamin. No, I was going to agree with you. It's, I think the other three were this four and another three were Fox movies that they inherited. That's it. Too. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, but on the Marvel show slate, we don't have much on there in terms of the TV series. We do have it. The one movie we were talking about is Deadpool 3. So hopefully that'll pull in some good numbers. But we've got X-Men 97, Echo, Agatha, and Eyes of Wakanda. Not terrible. It's not like the, not the big thing that we're used to. And in terms of Star Wars, we got the Acolyte coming, Bad Batch Season 3. So not much talk about that anymore. Tales of the Jedi Season 2. And no movies once again. No movies till 2026 when we get the Ray movie, which I, God, I hope it doesn't. Oh God, I'm sorry. I was having flashbacks of the great fan base wars of 2017. So when's the so that's not the same as the Dave Filoni movie, right? With the Mandalorian and Goku. Remember? I don't know. I don't. I don't know the next. date on. I don't know the date on the Grogu movie. Okay. Look, my two cents on it. Look, when you look at this, what Marvel slate, you got two basically animations, X-Men 97, Eyes of Wakanda, and then Echo was basically burned off one, one night. <laughs> I started watching it. It's okay. What I expected. So I'm going to watch the rest and see what I, I think I like the fight scene, but I don't know. That's not too much excitement there. And then Star Wars, like you said, two more animations, Bad Batch and Tales of the Jedi, right? And the Bad Batch, we watched, me and the kids did watch it, just fell out on it. So we might have to check it back in. But yeah, there's a lot of animation carrying us for this next year, man. It don't look good, man. Don't look good at all. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just, like, yeah, I, I don't know what Disney's doing. And then the, I think I know the Pixar one. That's like a, a sequel, Inside Out 2. Yeah. And then a Disney animation. Or is it, I think it's slash, slash live action adaption adaptation is the Mufasa, which is a prequel to the Lion King. So it's huh, nothing. Yeah. It's nothing that's really setting the world on fire. I don't think the only one, maybe X Deadpool three, right? Because it'd be like the first, like R rated and yeah. there's rumors. We're not going to get into that. So we don't do the spoiler take care, but there's rumors that it's going to be similar to Spider-Man No Way Home. So. Whatever that means, that's it's supposed to be on that level of nostalgia, shenanigans. So whatever that means, if you got Hugh Jackman coming back as Wolverine, do the math, folks. <laughs> and think back to what they did in Deadpool 2 that got some pops from the audience. If you remember mm -hmm. those scenes, yeah. they had a few scenes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I said pops from the audience. Wait, we're talking know. wrestling. <laughs> I don't know, man. Look, I trust Ryan Reynolds. He's going to make Deadpool. He, he owns that property. He made it a thing. So I trust that it's going to be interesting. And, but I don't know, man. We'll see. Superhero movies are down right now. So maybe this is a good rest period until 2025. And maybe people be like, okay, I've seen it for my Superman 
rebirth, right? <laughs> Coming from yes, James yeah. Gunn or the other Marvel movie or something. So I uh, will see, or will people move on? I don't know. Will, none, will something else take over?